set their fields aflame. Cull them with thine axe. Burn them all. None shall survive this day. So I have spoken. We will be so it shall grinding be. some more on Magic Arena. Maybe playing some random stuff. I've gotten a lot more cards. Hopefully I've opened enough packs that I can play real decks. And uh, you may notice throughout the stream this happening. If you notice over here in the lower right-hand corner of the screen, I have a number labeled Bad Karma counting up. Uh, I'm going to put that back to zero. I can show it. And um, as I do bad things, like making people rage quit, beating people with red deck wins, that sort of thing, we're going to be counting up on the bad karma um, by varying increments. And uh, yeah, I'm going to decide what to do about that later. But we're going to be keeping track of how bad is our bad karma. At least. For now. So, um, for anybody watching, please let me know if I make any punts, because that's going to be adding to the bad karma. Making people rage quit is adding multiple points to the red karma. And such and so forth. So, without further ado, I'm going to start and uh, we're going to grind a little bit of standard ranked for a little bit with uh, with red deck wins. At least till people get in here and tell me what they'd rather watch. So. Um, we've got a... Oop, how do I collapse my friends list? There we go. Cool. So we got a 1 and a 2. Sure. Play the 1-drop, pass the turn. Play a mountain. Go attacking. Deal 1. Get in for 1. Nice. Okay. Uh, we are going to just uh, front half of Rick's Monty Reveler. And we're going to discard Skargan Hellkite. Cool, we have two Rimrock Knights now. Oh gosh. Crazy cat. Our opponent has a Robber of the Rich. Um, so... If defending player has more cards in hand than you... Yeah, go ahead. I, you can't even take any of our cards. Uh, play Castle Embereth. Go to combat. Hit him for four. Uh, make that actually six. And we'll play a Rimrock Knight. Pass the turn. Mm, using burn spells to hit our creatures. <laughs> yeah, opponent gets in for two, that's fine, we go to 16. And they play a light up the stage. See, I really like this version of um, Red Deck Wins because why, are, why would you pay one mana to draw two cards when you just pay one mana and kill your opponent? Like, it just seems better to me. We'll go attacking. Pump up our dude. Hit him for five more. And play a Rimrock Knight. <laughs> uh, this, this version of Red Deck Wins has got to be the most unfair version I have played to date. I don't know if anyone has noticed my rank, but according to my last video, I ended in, like, Silver 2. Uh, Bone Daddy sent me this list and was like, hey, you should grind rank with this. And I was like, okay. And then I, like, blinked. And it was I was in Gold 3, and I was like, all right, well, I suppose I should have recorded some of this. But you know me, and I'm very forgetful. <laughs> okay, so we are going to... We're going to shoot this creature. We're going to get in for damage. Opponent blocks. That's totally okay. 
Uh, front half of Rick's Mahdi Reveler. We'll discard Tectonic Giant and play a mountain. Another robber of the rich. I'm gonna hold it back on defense. Well, play a phoenix. And that should do it. Alright, well, you know, I was gonna say beating red deck wins with red deck wins is, uh... <sighs> it's not that bad. As far as karma goes, but they were mana screwed, so we get a we get we get one on the bad karma count here. We're gonna go back and get him again. <laughs> All right. Um. We got a one, a two, and a three, as well as a decent number of lands and a scry land. I think we're gonna have to keep this. Um, have to play tug with Porter because uh, otherwise he'll be chewing on something or whining too hard. But if I play tug, I can actually stream without too much background noise unless he yanks me right out of his chair because he's very strong. Mm. Right, so our opponent gets to go first, it looks like. And our opponent is not playing red deck wins. So we are going to start uh, Scorch Spitter. Pass the turn. <laughs> uh, tapped Steam Vents for our opponent. They pass. Mm. We're going to play a Fervent Champion. See what they do. Okay, they let it go. We're gonna get in for damage. <laughs> uh. Okay, they have a Spectral Sailor. We attack. Hit them for one. They do not block. We'll play a Temple of Malice. Uh, Anax. We definitely want Anax. Alright, opponent plays a Mountain. Does not attack. Um, let's see. We'll play a Mountain. Go to combat. Get in for three. Okay, opponent does not block. Throw down Anax. Make our opponent use their mana. That is actually okay. Okay, opponent's got nothing. Let's see. Hmm. I think we're gonna try and pre-combat shock this. Actually should have played a mountain here in case I had a quench. Okay, it wasn't a quench, so it's not a punt. <laughs> I believe is how that works out. Play a mountain, we'll play a Rix Mahdi Reveler, and we will pitch this Blood Crypt. We draw Rimrock Knight. Perfect. I guess maybe we should have done that first. Okay, opponent passes. Alright, this time we will go to combat and attack with everybody. Hit them for one, see what they do. Mm. <laughs> Oh. 
All right, well, opponent does that, so we can Rimrock Knight our Fervent Champion to make sure we can first strike down this Spectral Sailor. And if they counter this, the best part is we follow up with Rick's Mahdi Reveler to reload. They do. We take two. They take three, and we lose our guy. So we're going to shock. We're going to spectacle in our Rick's Mahdi Reveler. And draw some cards. Opponent plays a Mischievous Chimera and another Spectral Sailor. We draw a Mountain. Well, I'll play a Mountain. Go to combat. Get in with the two drops. <laughs> oh, I'm having fun. This is a good time. This, this left arm is going to be completely worked out. <laughs> All right, opponent decides, hey, I want to trade. Seems fair. Play another Scorch Spitter and pass the turn. Now we have a bunch of things we can top deck to make our opponent's life much more miserable. We draw a Fervent Champion. So we're going to play a Fervent Champion. And then we're going to get in for a bunch of damage. Opponent has a Brazen Borrower. They're going to bounce that Scorch Spitter. Sure. Fancy animations. Fancy animations. We're going to hit him for two. And then we're going to replay Scorch Spitter. And a Mountain. So they have a Brazen Borrower, but that can't block anything we have currently. Yep, that just means we get in for more damage. Alright, so we're going to play a Phoenix. They can block that if they want to. <laughs> I think they have to, actually. We'll pump. They didn't block. Okay, now they're dead to Scorched Spitter attacking. <laughs> mm. And they scoop it up. It's not a rage quit. We were presenting lethal, but that's definitely worthy of another bad karma point. So we are now up to a grand total of two bad karma. And we get a once and future. Doesn't seem like it worked. What do you mean doesn't seem like it worked? Oh, did I get a, a, a notification of some kind? Because if it's not set up, I'm going to feel kind of bad. Uh, oh, I it's because I'm on stream elements because of the potential for challenges. One second. Twitch activity feed. Oh, wait. Hang on. Shoot. I am so sorry. We will be keeping this hand. All right. Starting with a Scorch Spitter. Holy shit! Bone Daddy with the $50 donation. Good God, man. Thank you so much. <laughs> Have fun at work. Oh. I am going to have to reset that up. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Thank you. We'll play a Rimrock Knight. Go to combat, hit him for three. Replay a Scorch Spitter. And pass turn. Okay, that's... We just got... I, I'm gonna say we got several bad karmas for that. <laughs> we are... Uh, 
being reimbursed to play uh, evil, evil things. So go to combat. Hit him for three. Actually make it five. Play a Scorch Spitter. And a Rimrock Knight. <laughs> but plays a Jace Wielder of Mysteries, a card that is completely irrelevant to the board state. They mill us and draw a card. We untap, we draw a Fervent Champion, so that's 4, 10, 11 damage, 12 damage. So pay life, play a Skargon Hellkite, give it haste, and our opponent scoops it up. <laughs> That's more bad karma. <laughs> Whoo! Bringing the total up to six. Six bad karma points. Uh, one second while I get this uh, reconfigured really quick. Isn't there a way to... <sighs> okay. My left hand is sweating because I have a dog panting on it. <laughs> Play a Fervent Champion, get in for one. Opponent plays an island. We draw a Skargon Hellkite. Get in for one. We're gonna Rixmati Reveler after we get to our main phase. Just normal mode. We're going to discard our Phoenix of Ash. We get another Rick's Mahdi Reveler. Our opponent flashes in a Spectral Sailor. Plays a Plains. Gives it lifelink. They draw a card. Well, we cannot be having this. So we are going to shoot that out of the sky. Get in for three. Oh, the rage quits! The rage quits are real! I'm gonna go ahead and say that's three bad karma points. Whoo! Three bad karma points for a rage quit, at least. Alright. Um. Shoot, what's my, what's my ranking now? We're a gold tier two? <laughs> Let's see if we can get into platinum without generating so much bad karma. I'm gonna die to a lightning strike. Literally, I don't mean the card. Um, <clears throat> uh, we got a one and a couple of threes, and we are on the play. We're going to keep. We're going to play a mountain, play a scorch spinner, and pass the turn. All right, uh, play another mountain. Get in for two. Rewarded for keeping a hand with uh, almost no lands. Gonna get in for two. Play Anax, Hardened in the Forge. We're going maximum upside. Opponent does have a quench. That's totally okay. They play an island. We draw a Rimrock Knight. Well... Play a Blood Crypt and pay life. We're going to cast a Torbron, the Thane of Redfell. I got another Quench. You know what? That's okay. I'm going to get in for two. Pass the turn. They play a Forest. Pass. We draw a Mountain, so we're going to play a Phoenix of Ash.
Frilled Mystic. They're going to counter it. That is fine. They counter the Phoenix. We go to combat. We attack. Get in for some damage. They do not block. So we're going to Rimrock Knight for a pump spell. Take him to 10. Pass the turn. If anyone wonders why I'm jerking around, I'm not having a seizure. The dog is, uh... <sighs> the dog is attacking my... His toy that I am holding. We're playing tug-of-war because... He needs... He needs to be worn out a little bit today. He's way too rowdy. My goodness. Opponent has a night pack ambusher. Okay. Well, they are going to kill our Scorch Spitter, which is going to give us just enough threshold to get down this Phoenix of Ash. Perfect. Now go lay down. We're done for a bit. My arm is getting very tired. I'm not like you. I, I can't use my whole body. Okay. Opponent has a voracious Hydra. I'm gonna have it fight the Phoenix. Sure. They get in for a bunch. We draw Blood Crypt. It's kind of unfortunate here. So we, let's see, go to combat, attack. We have to Ember Cleave. Because we get some damage in that way. But I don't think there's a card we can draw that gets us out of this. Our opponent has seven damage, we're at eight. And I don't think we can do six with a single card draw. I'm going to place a Nissa who shakes the world, and that ends up killing us. There we go. We don't lose bad karma for losing, mind you. That's not enough of a repentance to lose the bad karma. Still sitting at nine bad karma. <laughs> nine bad karma, and we've only just started. We are against Brooklyn Leo. Uh, we've got ones, several twos. This is like one of the nastiest hands we can get if we curve out. So we'll start Fervent Champion. We get in for one. Opponent goes to 19. Opponent plays a Temple of Silence and goes scrying. One to the top. So we're going to play a Mountain. We're just going to play a Rimrock Knight. We're not going to worry about... Um, using its uh, Boulder Rush ability. Opponent is going to play a Swamp. Agonizing Remorse. They get to steal any one card from our hand they want. So it's either going to be Ember Cleave or Anax. They take Anax. I believe that is the correct choice. Uh, so we're going to play a Mountain. We're going to go to combat. We're going to attack. Hit him for five. And we're going to hold up Bone Crusher Giant Shock here, because... Uh, they could play a blocker. I guess we take the choice away from them. They take Ember Cleave. We untap. We draw another Bone Crusher Giant. So we play Blood Crypt Tapped. Cast Bone Crusher Giant. And get in for five. Opponent. Pretty much has to have a Shatter the Sky or a Kaya's Wrath here. They play a Plains. Kaya's Wrath it is. Play an Anax. Pass the turn. Opponent plays a Doom Foretold. We sack Anax. We draw Rixmati Reveler. Oh, we don't want to do that. Hang on. So we're going to cast Bone Crusher Giant. 
Opponent loses Doom Foretold. And they play a Birth of Melitus. They get to go tutor up a point. And they have an Oath of Kaya. They go up to seven. We draw an Ember Cleave. So get in for one. Now Ember Cleave is really good, but we do need kind of more resources to win the game. Play a Mountain. Pass the turn. Opponent gets a wall. Plays a Treacherous Blessing. Ooh. It's kind of a treacherous time to play Treacherous Blessing. Opponent plays another Doom Foretold. Loses a life. So we sack Rick's Mahdi Reveler. Play a Mountain. Go to combat. We'll attack. We're gonna we're gonna pump fake that we've got something here. Okay. So we play Rimrock Knight. And then we play Rick's Mahdi Reveler. We draw Torbron. So opponent sacks Treasurous Blessing. Gains a little bit of life. Plays a land tapped. We Sack Rick's Mahdi Reveler. And we draw a Scorch Spitter. Go to combat. Attack with both. I think our opponent is salty with how much they're emoting. Uh, play Torbron. Should have played that pre-combat. What am I thinking? That's a punt. That's a paddling. And even more bad karma. <laughs> uh Opponent, Dance of the Mance. Gonna reanimate a whole bunch of things. Get some Enter the Battlefield triggers. They get a Plains. They draw some cards. They kill Rimrock Knight. They play a land tapped and scry. Sending it to the bottom. Oh, we have to sack two non-token permanents? Brutal. Draw Temple of Malice. Scorch Bitter, not going to do it. No attacks. Okay. Opponent plays a Golden Egg. Draws a card. Goes Scrying. So we're going to lose... Basically nothing, but our opponent is going to draw cards and gain some life. I don't think we can come back at this point. We might have, had I not misplayed. Yeah. So we'll go ahead and concede. Ugh. <laughs> back to the grind we go. Alright, this is a good hand we will keep. Opponent Mulliganed. Good choice in card sleeve, opponent. They are starting with Leyline of Sanctity. Well, luckily, we don't burn face. Not often, anyway. Opponent starts Temple of Plenty and goes in scries. We draw another Phoenix. We're going to go ahead and just play a Rick's Mahdi Reveler, discard a Phoenix, draw a Rimrock Knight, get in for two. Pass the turn. Opponent's got a Plains and a Destiny Spinner. We draw a Scorch Spitter. So play a Mountain, go attacking. See what our opponent does. They block Scorch Spitter. We're going to Rimrock Knight, trade, then play Rimrock Knight. Pass the turn. Opponent has an Alsade of Life's Bounty. He puts a Sentinel's Eyes on it. Sure. Play a Mountain, play a Phoenix. Go to combat. Hit him with everything. 
I like how they mulliganed for Leyline of Sanctity. Play a Scorch Spitter. They got an all that glitters. They got a big life linking vigilance creature. Uh, play another Phoenix. Play a Scorch Spitter. So if we attack with everything, they block here, they take s they take 8 and gain 6, so they'd only take 2. So we just attack in the air. As long as they don't have Trample, we might actually somehow come back. Block with a Scorch Spitter. Get a Temple of Malice, go Scrying. Anax is good, we'll keep Anax. Go to combat. Hit him for six. Opponent plays a land. Has another all save of life's bounty. Uh, they did not activate the protection ability. They could have just killed us there. Yeah, they're just gaining too much life too quickly. We're playing the wrong deck for this. <laughs> okay, this time they got us. We deserve this. This is a good hand, we will keep. Opponent plays a Sacred Foundry tapped. We start Fervent Champion. Get in for one. Opponent plays a Hollowed Fountain tapped. Play a Mountain. Get in for one. And, oops, this still damage step. I've done that before. Play Rimrock Knight, pass the turn. Opponent plays a Mountain. Deafening Clarity, gonna wipe the board. That's fine. Play a Mountain, Bone Crusher Giant, pass the turn. Opponent plays a Plains, Teferi. Gonna bounce Bone Crusher Giant. So we are going to replay. Nah, we're going to shoot to fairy. Actually, think we got to do that. And play a scorch spitter. Pass the turn. Opponent plays a sphinx of foresight. Play a blood crypt. Recast the bone crusher. No attacks. So we play a mountain, play Torbron, go attacking. Opponent takes a bunch. Opponent gets a banishing light. Okay, I finally got that figured out. Great Bone Daddy did donate $50 earlier on stream. He's a wonderful stream. Uh, I mean, I don't know if he streams, but he's a wonderful supporter. Um, 
we are going to play a mountain. Play a phoenix. Go attacking. Pop the phoenix. We're going to leave the Skargon Hellkite waiting in the wings here. Opponent has another banishing light. Draws a couple cards. Hits the phoenix. And they play a Cavalier of Gales. Go brainstorming. We get a Bone Crusher Giant. Hmm. So we're gonna go ahead and stop our opponent. And then play a Bone Crusher Giant. No attacks. Opponent plays a Fires of Invention. So they can only play what they've got on their turn. They discard a land, they draw a card. We draw a mountain. I think we put a 1-1 one, one counter on this. Because that just means they're dead next turn if they've got nothing. Okay, no attacks. They have Banishing Light number 3 for the Hellkite. And a Kenrith Returned King. Oh, brutal. Ah, that means we lose. <laughs> they can just gain 10 life every turn. Yeah, that seems good. No blocks. I was going to say, I don't even think, like, a Ember Cleave saves us here. Nope. So, we'll scoop it up. <laughs> hmm. You know what? I think we deserve some bad karma for that. <laughs> we played against a really cool deck and still put up a bad showing. This looks good. We'll keep. Opponent going to start Temple of Silence. Leaves it on top. We draw a mountain. Play a Fervent Champion. Get in for one. Opponent going to Agonizing Remorse and take away our best card. So they take our other Fervent Champion. Draw another mountain. Play a mountain. Shoot him in the face. Get in for one. We did not save that for a blocker because we're bad at this game. That's a punt. One to the bottom. Our opponent plays in Athenia the Cacophony. Nothing to exile. So we play a mountain. Go to combat. Get in for one. We'll play a Bone Crusher Giant. Opponent plays a Godless Shrine tapped and an Oath of Kaya, which answers Bone Crusher Giant pretty nicely. They get in for two, take us to 18. Nothing to exile. Play a Castle and a Phoenix. Attack for three. Opponent plays another Godless Shrine tapped and a. Another Oath of Kai. <laughs> Shoots down the Phoenix. Gets in for two. We got a 16. They get a zombie. We draw a mountain. Play a mountain. Go to combat. Get in for one. They block, so we're going to activate M Breath. Kill the zombie. One has a Birth of Melitus, goes and tutors up the planes. Alright, we get an Anax. So play a mountain, go to combat. Get in for one. Play Anax. 
Pass the turn. Opponent gets a wall. They got a Banishing Light just for the Anax. We're playing against people specifically teched for us right now. We were doing really good earlier, and now it's just been nothing but, like, hard counters. Which is fine. It happens. Uh, play a mountain. Let's see, we'll... I guess there's no reason to do that, huh? So we're just gonna stomp a Femia. And play ourselves a Bone Crusher Giant. No attacks. Opponent gains a little life. They have another Banishing Light. Banishing Lights all around. <laughs> I get to tutor up another Plains. We draw Phoenix, so play a Mountain. Play a Phoenix. Go to combat. Attack. Pump it up. Hit him for four. Pass the turn. But it makes another wall. Plays a planes. Blows up the board. Gains a little bit of life from it, too. We draw Rimrock Knight. So we're going to exile one Phoenix to the other. Go to combat. Attack. Pump. Rimrock Knight pump. Hit him to nine. Joe West, what's up? How's it going, my friend? I want you to know that if you look on screen in the lower right-hand corner, we are currently up to 12 bad karma today. <laughs> I'm going to have to repent later. I'll leave that up for a little bit. Uh, play Rimrock Knight. Pass the turn. The dude I watched that plays Tabletop Modern asked me last night what my favorite modern dex is so he can proxy it on up to play on stream. Did you tell him Battle of Wits? <laughs> That's pretty sweet. We draw another Rimrock Knight, so get in. Activate the castle. Pump with Rimrock Knight. Take our opponent to five. Play Rimrock Knight so we can represent lethal. Opponent gets back in Ephemia, the Cacophony. Plays a Treacherous Blessing. Plays a land. Banishing Light number three. Takes out a Rimrock Knight. We are going, uh, I can switch over to playing, like, blue-white or something after this, if you'd like. Um, yeah, we'll play Anax. Go to combat. Get in for some damage. Okay. Activate Castle Emberath. We get an extra token this way. And our opponent... Scoops it up, does not want to deal with us anymore. And I'm going to say that's worth at least two bad karma. <laughs> I'm going to have to work off this bad karma somehow. 